Hi, welcome to Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I'm Nanda. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the Firepower Threat Defense, that is FTD, device to a Firepower Management Center. Recently, I've been hearing a lot of requests from you all on the basic how to add uh, FTD to the FMC. So, in this series of video, I'm going to show you what are the basics required to set the device ready and then add it to the FMC and then uh, configure minimum policy for the traffic to pass through. These are the four steps that is required uh, for you to prepare the FMC uh, and then prepare the FTD device and then register the FTD to the FMC and then configure basic uh, policies such as interface policy, routing, platform and NAT configuration and then deploy that uh, uh, to the device. Let's take one uh, one step at a head. So first, in order to add that device, that is uh, FTD device to the FMC, you have to make sure uh, the management interface of the FTD should be able to reach the FMC manage, uh, management interface IP address. Um, so how to configure the FTD, uh, I'll show it in the next video. So let's see what is required on the FMC uh, to make it ready to talk to F, um, FTD. So first I have to make sure that the FMC is registered to Cisco's smart account. So what are the license that you bought uh, uh, that, will be uh, that, be, that will be available on the FMC once you um, register the FMC with smart, uh, Cisco smart account. For this, uh, you need an internet access to the FMC, either direct access or through proxy. And then you register. So let's uh, look at how to uh, register the box with smart account. This is my FMC. Uh, in order to uh, configure the smart licensing, you have to go to systems, licensing and smart license. So the, now the box is not registered. So I'm going to generate generate a smart uh, token from Cisco Smart uh, uh, Smart Manager. So now I'm going to generate a to new token uh, for my FMC. Copy my token, come back to your FMC, make sure the FMC has internet connection um, either directly that is through gateway or through the proxy settings. In my case, um, I have a proxy configured on this box which is uh, which you can see it from uh, configuration, the system configuration the management interface so i have uh, enabled a proxy um, so which uh, which can uh, through which it, it reaches a cisco smart account so go to smart licensing click register and then simply copy the token that you have got from cisco uh, smart licensing manager Uh, you can check the details on that task so it says that uh, now the FMC is successfully uh, registered with Cisco smart licensing cloud um, I can see that usage is authorized and then it um, product is registered um, the account uh, virtual account detail is enabled here export control feature which is whether I'm ent entitled to enable three days or AES um, features on, on the box um, that are managed by this FMC. Uh, if, if it says enable, then I'm entitled to use three days and AES uh, advanced subscription. If it disable, uh, if the status says disable, then 
uh, you are allowed to use uh, only DES encryption. Now that the FMC is uh, ready, uh, let's uh, see what what is that we need to configure on that FTD uh, to make it ready to talk to FMC.